Good morning, my dear queen, and welcome to my channel. Today, in this short video, we're going to talk about something very important about the activities to avoid if you have ovarian cysts. So active but you've got ovarian cysts and you don't know which exercises are good and which one to avoid this video is for you first of all uh, thank you for all the messages i received after this video uh, the natural ways to shrink ovarian cysts i'm so proud of all of you who are implementing i'm so proud that so many of you have successes with shrinking your own ovarian cysts i'm seriously seriously happy but i received so many messages yola which uh, exercises to avoid how do i know that my cyst is about to burst you know things like this so i will try to make a lot of videos about this subject to help you as much as i can so please stay with me so today we are going to talk about uh, the exercises which you can avoid and which are the best when you have been cyst so if you uh, kept active so far and you might think like oh my god what should i do now you know i need to keep my body moving the good news is that you can still continue your exercises as long as they are moderate so stretching yes 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 it can actually help um, ease the pain linked to ovarian cyst and it can help with a muscle tension at the end of the video i'm going to share like uh, three the best yoga asanas which can actually open your um, the pelvic floor a little bit and give you a little bit pain relief as well so yoga absolutely fine uh, even the gentle pilates is absolutely fine as well so another question which you might have when the cyst uh, rupture a cyst is more likely to rupture during strength exercises or sex so there is no specific warning before the cyst burst i was uh, trying to actually find uh, some researches about this but there is none, girls. There's literally none. Uh, when it comes to statistics, statistically, the cyst birthed after um, the girl um, had the sex or after the girl had some strength exercises or even like strength work, like, for example, lifting heavy uh, things at work. But that's few cases and there is no specific research. So I have to be honest with you in this moment. How do you know uh, ovarian cyst pain? Like, for example, if you've got the um, pain in your period, usually pain goes after your period. With this pain, with ovarian cyst is different because it's very sharp pain. So it can, you know, uh, come, but it comes in specific place. So, if, for example, if your cyst in on the right side, it's going to come always on the right side you know and it's gonna stay like for hours and hours it's not gonna go away so this is the sign that you might experience pain caused by ovarian cyst actually um uh, another thing uh cyst and running you are asking so many questions yola i love running but i've got the cyst should i stop and then again everything in moderation girl like recreation running is absolutely fine i don't really think that your cyst will burst which you're gonna go for a run like for 10 minutes like you know in slow pace but if you are running a marathon and you're gonna be running the miles and miles for like hours and hours that's the different story then i wouldn't recommend that many of you are asking uh, yola and what about uh, lifting because many girls are building their muscles so this is actually not recommended as well because it puts strength on your pelvic floor and they are working that it might cause cysts to burst as you can see here the girl uh, who was a weightlifter she was actually the bodybuilder uh, it was her profession she was told by the doctor to avoid the gym because it might you know cause the cysts to burst so as you can see so what are the best uh, exercises I would recommend you yoga and if you didn't check please go on YouTube after you watch this video and subscribe to Adrian Michel yoga with Adrian Adrian doesn't know that I exist I've got absolutely nothing recommending you her but she's a very very good uh, yoga teacher her videos are all for free 
and she's just a decent and very loving and very kind human being you know when i lost my child and i was doing yoga she helped me so much she 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 doesn't even know it but you know i i just have to share it because i feel that she will help you and she will help many other people so what are the best asanas three the best asanas which are gonna open your pelvic floor First one is the cobra pose. As you can see, you know, you're opening your pelvic uh, floor and you uh, you will stretch your muscle as well, which will help to uh, ease the tension. Uh, another one is very good with opening your pelvic floor, which is this one, the butterfly pose. And the butterfly pose have actually two vi variations. And the third one, I'm not the yoga expert, but please correct me if I'm spelling this wrong, wrong, but at Vayasana, it's mean that you're basically stretching from one side to another, you know, so this one uh, are the best, which I find on um, forum when it comes to ovarian cysts. Uh, all yoga is very much recommended, so please give it a go, give it a go and let me know which... Uh, which positions, which yoga asanas can you share with other and the girls so we can all come together and heal together. If you like this video, please click the like button. It's going to help me so much to reach to many girls who are in need in this kind of information and in need in this kind of help because we and the girls we have to stick together and help each other i'm four year end of free so you know my mission is to help as many girls as i can and i cannot do it alone so if you please like it please click the like button subscribe and share it with everyone i love you so much and as always i'm gonna see you in monday and i'm gonna do more videos around this topic bye